The Water Challenge is our 2014 in-school activity where students are given the opportunity to collaborate on a project and come up with creative solutions to real-world problems. In addition, this year we had a real focus on developing students' concern for society. The Water Challenge was brought to you in association with Practical Action and Imperial College London. Congratulations to all the teams that took part in the Water Challenge. I've really enjoyed looking at all your entries and seeing the ideas that you've come up with on how to solve global issues around water. What really impressed me was how you understood that science and technology really can be used to make a difference to the lives of people in poverty and how keen you were to come up with some solutions. We had some outstanding entries this year and first we wanted to celebrate two schools that really developed the values, attitudes and attributes of high performance learning. Firstly, the British School of Beijing, San Litan, for making the Water Challenge an integral part of everyday school life. What was really special about your school was the way you took the Water Challenge and made it into a whole school cross-curricular project, which you all clearly enjoyed. Secondly, La Cote International School, for incredible student leadership. The winner of the prize for the most thorough research goes to College Champetet. I was very impressed by the scientific research performed by Collège Champité. Your research was very well presented and drawn from many resources. The winner of the prize for the most interesting experiments goes to the British International School Shanghai Pushi. You had some really creative ideas about how to obtain water, showing an inquiring mind that is so important in budding scientists. I was particularly impressed that even when your designs didn't work, you gave some really good detailed explanation of why that happened and some suggestions of how you could improve your design. The winner of the prize for the best model is the British International School of Budapest. What I particularly liked about your entry was once you clearly understood the problem around drinking dirty water, you were absolutely determined to find a solution that not only worked, but one that could be adapted to the developing world that was low cost and made from locally resourced materials. You were really creative and enterprising, the way you tested your uh, water purification on your teachers um, and how you, you gave them purified water in their tea. And the winner of the prize for the most innovative designs and the overall competition winner is the British International School, Bratislava. As someone who works in international development, I found it really heartwarming to see so many of you working passionately towards finding a solution to a problem faced by people in the developing world. I was really impressed by the way that you looked at a variety of different solutions, tried out experiments and carried on persevering even when those experiments didn't quite work out the way you'd hoped. What I also liked to see was that during the process of designing and building your own models, you remained open-minded, were very proactive in your own learning, and I could see great collaboration between students of different ages. I thought that British School in Bratislava's um, entry was brilliant. I especially liked your video, and I loved seeing you put up your irrigation system in your eco-garden at the end. That was really great. I'd just like to say a big thank you to everyone at Nord Anglia Education. It's been a wonderful experience working with you and I've really enjoyed seeing the amazing work that goes on in your schools. I've really enjoyed looking at your water challenge submissions and I've learned a great deal. The quality of science was really high and it's great to see so many budding young scientists and engineers among you. Congratulations to all our students in Nord Anglia Education for taking part in the Water Challenge.